Okay, so you can see we're starting on the Pathfinder. Welcome to How to Research in Economics. And the basis of this video assumes you have already looked at the databases. There's a tutorial video here that tells you how to search Questia, how to search ProQuest, and um, JSTOR and Project Muse are also good databases for econ. So those are definitely your first point of reference. Okay, so assuming you've done that, that you have some articles, but you want to find what else is out there or something more specific, if you scroll down to the econ resources tab, wait for the internet to work. There we go. Okay. And this is the econ box. Okay. There we go. This set right here, we have two copies of it. And every year students tell me it's pretty good for um, getting background, you know, g general information on economic theory. Because remember, whatever your topic, whether it's, I you know, got, I don't know, price fixing for Starbucks in Beijing or something, um, you still need to ground your research in economic theory and then show how that gets played out locally. So that's a good place to start microeconomics. We have a couple other books that might be useful. So definitely check Destiny. Okay. Um, after that, you can see in this tab we have several different kinds of links. Remember, we do have a subscription to The Economist. There's a tells you how to get the password information if you not know. So that will give you access to all their their archives, their back articles, etc. Um, when we say that this needs to have scholarly research, that for economics also includes obviously respected um, magazines like the Economist, Financial Times, those those kinds of things. There's also the these others, Economics Online. If you need data, these are some good places to look. Dr. Tease is just a college professor. I'm not sure where he's from, but some recommended links from him so you can look through those. Um, we also have these open access journals. Now these are like the journals on the databases except you don't have to pay for them. Okay, so the directory of open access journals is everything that's online. But if you go in, you can browse by subject. And so if you said, I just wanted to do, um, okay, where would economics be? Social sciences? There we go. Economic history, economic theory. I'll just do that. Okay, view journals and articles. And then you can search in there. You can see they're not always in English. So if I want to search Beijing Starbucks, I'm going to be really surprised if something shows up. Yeah. Oh, cause that, so, because uh, we were searching economic theory. So, um, uh, boy, I've talked to enough students, you'd think I would know a term. Um, market structures. Okay, and we could even put like China in there. Okay, huh. I have no idea what that has to do with what we're searching. So you can see it's, it may not be an easy search, but you need to keep digging. 
um, economic e-journal. You know, I tried to put l little descriptions of what each of them cover, cover economic research international. You know, so you can see all these science direct actually does have economics. Uh, be sure to choose open access articles only. You can tell it specifically what area you want to search. Then market structures, Beijing. Okay. That, and you can see over here, these are all open access. So you should be able to, um, you know, clip on the link and get the full article. Ugh, we won't wait for that to do that. Okay, now, because many of you, you know, look at, at local phenomenon, so here's some places to get China specific data. And don't forget also, let's back on, on here, we have a database called CNKI. We mostly get it for the group one Chinese people, but it has a lot of things on China economics. Some of them are in English, some of them are in Chinese, so you'll either need to put it through Google Translate or get one of your friends to translate it for you. Um, but that's also a good place to search. Um, this was some useful advice from an econ teacher on writing an economics research question. These are some basic uh, courses on economics. When you're defining economic theories, um, the IB hates it when you use textbooks. So this would be other good places to get that same kind of information. And finally, because I love it, you know, Crash Course has an entire course on e economics. This is just the, the first one, but if you click up here, it takes you to the full course. And again, this would be good just for easy to understand, Whoop, yikes, <laughs> explanations of, you know, supply and demand, productivity growth, etc. Um, the other thing to be sure to check out is over here, every year after they're done do, you know, grading all the um, economics EEs, all the examiners get together and write an eight to 10 page report explaining what worked really well that year, where things didn't work so well. And sometime before you start writing, you should definitely take the time to read that because it'll give you really good advice for what to do, what not to do, etc. Okay, so that's that's pretty much it. Remember, as always, if you're not finding things, they pay me to help you with that. So so drop by the library, and I'll always be glad to help you look.